Hey guys, welcome back to today's episode of Jaffo Plays. We are playing Descent Journeys into the Dark. We apparently are grave robbing. Uh, such valiant heroes we are. Hey, I, I got some good loot. We have our champion and our disciple ready to break down this door, and our archer ready to guard our backs. When we last left, we're all starting re ready to start a new round. So I think I'm going to start... Uh, no, I'm going to have Mr. Watt, you start and kick open that door. All right, I'll kick down the door. First action, kick open the door. Ho-ho, oh, here we go. Putrid air hisses from the breach as you force the door open. You notice a small trigger inlaid into the frame. Its mechanism released as the door clears the threshold. Oh, this is not going to go well. You hear the click behind you and turn Guys, just in time to see the mouth of the marble-skinned woman fall. Jaw unhinged, the lovely statue emits a never-ending, ear-piecing scream that alerts every creature Ow! within several miles of your trespass. Unfortunately, you are unable to locate a way to silence the alarm. However, we will add 3B. Why can't you guys be more careful? And 23B. We have a door there. Well, it's like if this is meant to be like a mausoleum. We have a door of there. Some sort. And it kind of makes sense. And we have a special token. What can you guess this is, guys? It's a locked door. Special door. Special door. Means we need to find the key. We have a locked door at the end of the aisle. All righty. You have a helper. That, that is your key. You're hmm. fine. A maze? I could probably break the hand. Oh! Yes. Upon disturbing their resting place, an angry group of bar guests emerge from beneath the graves. So we need to find the bar guests. That's those dogs. So, hello. They were okay ish. There are worse things. There are also worse things. things that go on in the night. Those. Uh, also get that and that. The rest of these can go back. Okay. So for three of us, there is two, and two groups. Or two white ones and one red one. So here is what a monster card looks like. Oh, allow me to pull that out a little bit further. Monster card looks something like this. It displays all of the pertinent stats. And it plays all of their, uh, a pretty little picture of them. The dice that they throw. And things accordingly. So we will add... Melina, you have an issue. Oh, jeez. Four large Help. sarcophagi. Help. Or sarcophaguses. I guess Sarcoph it does say sarcophaguses. No, it says sarcophaguses. No, that's not the plural. It's sarcophagi. Shh. It says sarcophaguses. S-A-R-C-O-P-H-A-G-U-S-E-S. -E sarcophaguses. Sarcophagi. Fair enough. There are four sarcophaguses. In each of the four corners, rest against the walls of the hallway. Glyphs etched into the stone lids reveal them to be the guardians of the southern tomb. As an action, a hero adjacent to a sarcophagus can open it. <laughs> that is now going to be our abusive word for the day. Question. Answer. Since they spawned there, can 
Does that count as them moving into my into an adjacent uh, space? I do not believe so. Dang it! I want to run away. <clears throat> A locked door stands at the end of the hallway. The face of the door is marked with symbols that mimic those found on the sarcophaguses. It says the same word again, sarcophaguses. All right, I don't want you guys to think I'm complete retard or mental case or just dumb. I want you to see right there, it says sarcophaguses. I'm not stupid much. <laughs> <laughs> I did not write this. <laughs> I did not write this adventure. So, Fantasy Flight, if you're watching this, people might need to learn how to write English. It's sarcophagi. Locate the key and enter the grand chamber. Or ignore it and start opening other doors. Either one sounds like fun. So, Mr. Watt, you spent one, do one uh, uh, point to go and get them. I suggest you spend a fatigue point to step back one and club doggy with stick. That sounds good to me. Rogue. Uh, hold, let me see if there's anything more. I forgot to hit continue. Nope, we're good. All right. Kill them. I need Kill a them quickly. Yellow die, please. You need a yellow die. And a you need a gray die for them. Okay. We'll do this like we did our massive darkness games. You'll roll everything. And that determines what your damage does. So... Alright, uh, we have a shield. So, you have two energy with one hit going. So you have two damage, one one of it gets blocked. What can your thing do? It can... I can stun. stun. Also heal myself using my ability, but I don't have any wounds to heal right now. Um, you can also use one of those to heal your fatigue. So put a wound there, and put a wound there. All right. So stunning and healing. Yes. Yep. So, since this is the first time you guys here at home have gotten a chance to see, here's what happens when, after one of us is gone, then one of the monster groups gets to go. Right now, we've only got one monster group. And it's telling me we'll activate our master Burgeist first, which is this red guy over here. So. <coughs> Each attack that's performed by the master gains plus two surges. Um, he'll engage the closest hero, which he is, and then he'll attack a hero. Who wants to eat it? I'm not. I'm not meant to I've take got a damage. A gray die and a brown die. So a gray die, gray. brown die. You got the blue. So roll it all, son. Roll it all. Blue one as well. Mm -hmm. Blue is. He has a blue and a red plus whatever damage you do. Okay. Or defense you have. He hits you for four. <coughs> and hold on, he gets two surges as well. Surges, they will spend them in the following order. They will surge for plus two damage. So, six. it's at six, minus one is five. The master has been activated. This doesn't get the master bonus. Uh, it'll engage the closest hero, and it'll target. So, unfortunately, this stun doesn't do anything, because they're next to somebody, so this stun will go away. But it's good to put it on there, because it might have affected. Um, so he'll go. Why don't we have him attack Mr. Watt again? So why don't you roll those exact same dice again? That is a much better roll. Um, he's got... Four, you've got four, that's blank, son, blank. And unfortunately, Melina, the last one's going to attack you. Pick up the following dice over there that you need. I do not believe you have the brown dice. No. Ow. Ow. 
Ow. That hurt. Hit you for a three? Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Would you like retaliation, or would you like me to hurt them for you? Um, I'll go. Um, reach. Reach for the stars, partner. One surge. One fatigue to run away. I can move two because of my fleet of foot. Sounds good to me. And they have a great eye, correct? They have a great eye, yeah, no matter which one you attack. So I already have plus one range because of my scorpion helmet. Up to two spaces away. Um, I'm there, no problem. And uh, I can do an extra two damage. So I see three on the dice and two on the defense, so they're starting at one. What can you do with the surge? So I can do another plus two parts. Okay. Get rid of that. Sounds good. Which one are you attacking? The red one. The red one. So how much total? Five drops it to three. So we'll put three here. You're going to do that again? Yeah. This, this scorpion helmet is actually pretty good. I get plus one range automatically. Nice. Hey, look. I got the exact same thing. Exact same roll. Gain the another fatigue. Three. Um, you are not within reach of him, so that's another three. That's a dead master. Master. So we've killed one dog. Woof! Dumb dogs. Snarling undead beasties. But they they are not. Nice. So But I'm done then. We end Jaina's turn. Reach says it has to be, I think it means I have to be one space away. So I'm going to spend a fatigue to move. And one, two, and one, two. I can hit either one of them. So they've got silver. I've got blue. I've got red. So you can't quite see that. Let me bring that down for you. There we go. They've got no defense. I've got four. I'll attack the wounded dog. That one's dead. And I shall return the favor once more. Each time I defeat a monster with an attack using a melee weapon, I gain a valor. I got a valor token. <clears throat> hey, you're within three spaces of me. Gain a valor token. I'm going to spend that Valor token of mine to add plus one melee damage. Hey, I spent a Valor token while within three spaces of me. I shall regain a fatigue. <laughs> this is going to become abus abusive very quickly. See that. A lot of micromanaging for you. Oop, that was three. I cheating, I cheating, I cheating, that was three. Five minus one is four. Four is another dead dog. You killed one. I killed two. Hey, look! I defeated another monster! <laughs> hey, look! I defeated another monster! <laughs> this is gonna get fun. Alright. So, I'll flip this around real quick and you can see. So, what happens... We do get to control and tell the, uh... Dungeon Master that we've defeated this group. They did! And I've ended my turn. They're dead, Jim. He's dead, Jim. The wailing cry of the alarm continues echoing through the halls. There must be a nearby switch to disable it. We need to get in there and shut that thing off. It's annoying. New round. Heroes may go. Why don't you hurry up and get in here? Okay. Mm -hmm. You could have gone straight across, you know. One, two, three, four, or where were you? 
One, two, three, four, five. Same thing. You didn't have to go through. That's not terrain that we care about. And then... And the Bargus card is gone. Unless we you shall. want me to head towards one of the doors. Well, it says open door on the north side. It says open door on the east side. That's all it says. But, Gina is done. Avrik, why don't you go in? Cleanse this area. I shall move to Jaina, and I shall use Prayer of Healing. Three, prayer of healing. Uh, roll a red die. It shows here it recovers health equal to the health rolled. I rolled three. And we'll heal three health. Looks like Jane is feeling quite all right today, guys. You will also add a brown die to your defense pool until the start of your next turn. And a yellow die to your next attack. Yeah, we made him stupid if he heals. Jeez. Stupid. <laughs> Like, stupid good. Uh, so, so that's okay. your turn? That's not broken. Is that your turn? That is the end of my turn. Then I shall come in. It is broken in a good way. It's good. Be like Jimmy. It's broken. <laughs> Man, that card's so broken. I so like it. Broken. Four. I shall go forward there, and I shall interact. A large sarcophagus sits against the wall. As an action, a Jason Hero can open it. I shall open it. Shall open one of the sarcophagi. That was dumb. Oh my god, was that dumb. How dumb? Uh -oh. An angry guardian emerges from the sarcophagus. How dumb was it? <laughs> Uh-oh. That's how dumb. A master elemental shows up. Oh no. Run away. One of these cute little furry guys with all of his elemental and goodness. He's gonna just sit right there and say hi and, and, and the stuff and the things and we're gonna die. Yeah. Okay! It also ignores group limits. Ah, i.e. had it been just say me and you Melina playing, normally it would have only been a white one. But the red one shows up regardless. Well that's the end of my turn! <laughs> Oh, and he gets to go! <laughs> Ow! This may sting a bit. So, minions have activated. After each elemental's activation, that elemental uses its air ability listed on the back. It will spot the closest hero. That would be me! It will then attack the closest hero in line of sight. That will also be me. I do not like this idea. I may spend that to add one defense. Heck yeah! I'm gonna spend one of those newfound valor tokens to add one to my defense! Thank gosh yeah. I did that, because I got two. He got two, so Sorry. I get two. I take two damage. He got four, actually. I get two. Then he uses air. Until the... St oh, wait. After each activation. Uh, if within two spaces of a hero... Perform a move action and retreat. Here we go. Until he just the ran away. Pretty much. He smacked you and ran away. And then away. ran like a little punk. Uh, until the start of your next turn, this monster cannot be affected by any attacks, and heroes may move through it. So he essentially went invisible. He went all ghosty airy typey crap. Well, that sucks. The wailing cries of the alarms continue echoing through the halls. There must be a way to shut it off. Which way do we want to go? I don't know. This guy's going to hurt me. One, two, three. I'll fatigue there. Spend an action to open the door. You gotta move the oh, yeah. I will open Stop the door. Ghosting. 
place 15B. This was the correct way into this dungeon. Entering through the creepy. Yep. If we would have gone this way, we would have been fine. No. It's your fault. Yep, let's blame Zach. I wanted to go in the front door. Nonsense. door? Where are we placing the door? Oh, one door, which would have been here, but we cracked this door open. It's still in its programming language to open that door. Ah, uh, crap. What else spawns? <sighs> Cave spiders. I don't like spiders. Cave spiders. They're fun. They're squiggly. They're spidery. They're so tiny. I still don't like them. You should come over and play Massive Darkness with us. Our spiders are this size. And one. This size. Yeah. No thanks. And, and then once you attack it, it uh, kind of spits a string at you and takes you with her. Well, I'm, I'm guessing, not cheating here, but I'm guessing this goes yeah. here. Because that's that seems like the Grand Chamber. Which means this goes up this way. Just guessing, guys. Yeah, that would kind of make sense if we're... A bulbous sack of eggs is suspended from the ceiling, though its, stre though its weight stretches it nearly to the floor. It roils and shifts with new life just beneath its Ew. surface. Place two objective tokens. Creepy. Objective tokens. Face down is shown. If there are no cave spiders on the map, the adjacent heroes may destroy this sack. This does not require an action. guys can see these tokens are double sided. This is just a blank idiot marker. This is a specific idiot marker. Specifying the idiot marker. Yes. Um, a star-shaped stone is inlaid into the wall here. A quiet hiss of air escapes from its edges. It appears the stone slides in and out, but you are unable to release it from here. Place one green objective token as indicated. Did you find the alarm? Place two search tokens. No, but I might have found more loot. Loot and scoop! I like loot! One there. One there. Looting everywhere. Look at this. There's lots of setups in this game, guys. Uh, setup complete. Well. Objective locate the key and enter the grand chamber still. So that was one action. Um, well, I cut one fatigue left. Fatigue and search. Moist pot. Ooh, I like that word, moist. Moist pods are attached to the wall here. Some wriggle with life, but one remains perfectly still, and its jagged shape makes you think that something else may be trapped behind it. I shall search. As you peel back the tacky shell, the other pods burst, spewing several colonies of wriggling gray worms into the air. Ugh. Each hero within three spaces of this search token tests eyesight. Select each hero who fails. That would just be me. Aha, I succeed! No failure. The sickly gray worms latch onto your flesh with small hooks that protrude from one end of their bodies. You, they thrash about violently, trying to bury themselves into you. Yeah. You find 15 gold! Discard this token and draw a search card. Was it worth it? <laughs> we'll find out. Right now. Heck yeah, it was a health potion! That thing's gonna kill us! 
My turn is over. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, you guys still don't get to kill this thing. Oh my god, this elemental's a douche. Minions have gone. Masters, spot the closest... Oh, wait, it's going to attack me again. God damn it. Spot the closest hero. That would be me. Attack the closest hero in line of sight. That would be me. It throws red and blue. I throw gray. Aw, oh, crap. Taking four. Well, that sucks. Wait, use after an attack, rolling an X during an attack roll to cover all of your stamina and to re-roll any and all of the dice in your attack pool. Neat. Um, and then if within two spaces, one, two, perform a move action and retreat. One, two. And then it goes air. It disappears again. Until the start of your next turn, this monster cannot be affected by any attacks and heroes may not move or may move through it. Super stupid. All elementals have activated. One of you mighty heroes should activate. How far can you whip that prayer of healing? Jason? Only? Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, four. Mm -hmm. Right enough. Heal me, yeah! <coughs> Heal me, sir. Heal me. I'm not feeling good. Three! I appreciate three. <coughs> and I get like a brown and a yellow power die, right? Uh, yes. Sweet. Then your turn's over, isn't it? Yes. Sweet. All right. After this activation, each hero adjacent to a cave spider must test willpower. Each hero adds a... A shield to his results equal to the number of adjacent cave spiders. Each hero who fails retreats two spaces away from the closest cave spider. So the minions engage the closest hero within five spaces of this monster who is not poisoned. Crap! One, two, three, four, five. Death for Jaffo. And it will attack a hero who's not poisoned. So, blue, yellow, gray. You'll see the brown one. I do! You've been healed. It did not work. Oh my god. And apparently I rolled amazing for them. <sighs> Sad panda is about to die. Um, so four minus one is three, and they have a surge. What do minion spiders surge on? Of course they poison me! Because why wouldn't they? Son of a motherless goat. Uh... Hey, remember when I was saying my character was so much fun and stuff? Yeah, that sucks. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. So an engage the closest hero within face that's not poison. Attack a hero who's not. Engage the closest hero. What is their speed? Hey, his speed is four. He would not do that. One, two, three, four. And then he'll actually go there. Crap, I'm not taking the damage or poison because he wouldn't be able to reach me. They only have a speed of four. I should learn to read my cards, guys. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. So all of them. And after this activation, after this activation, each hero, nope, I think I gotta, yeah, we'll do, nope, we'll do it after this, oh, I suppose after all those, so I gotta do a willpower test. Four, I need to pretty much blank this. <laughs> I'm dead! Blank. <laughs> And let's see, engage the hero with the, within five spaces. Attack. So oh, don't engage that's the closest the star hero. One, right? Yes. It's the one you suck at. The one of the two that I suck at. 
He'll go up there. To try and get close to me. That is you. Um. They are using white dice for defense. But we'll find that out tomorrow, what she's going to do. Come back tomorrow and see what happens on Jaffo Plays.